Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Memory Work Ideas for CC Cycle 1. This is week 21. Today for math, we are learning the associative law for addition and for multiplication. And we're going to sing this to the tune of Do Lord, Oh Do Lord. And it sounds like this. The associative law for addition states, open parenthesis, A plus B, close parenthesis, plus C equals A plus open parenthesis, B plus C, close parenthesis. So that's addition. For multiplication, it is the associative law for multiplication states, open parenthesis, A times B, close parenthesis, times C equals A times open parenthesis, B times C, close parenthesis. So same tune, the only difference is that you're changing the plus sign to multiplication and you're saying plus versus times. And that's the tune for math. So we will go through singing that. We might take turns giving each of the kids a pointer and I'll let them point to what we're saying as we sing it through several times. For English, we are learning to be as a helping and a linking verb. And so this is the clause in the middle of all of our linking verbs that we're learning for the remainder of this quarter. And they are going to all be listed and we're going to sing this to a tune as well and it's going to be um, bringing home a baby bumblebee and so all together this week's memory fact sounds like this helping and a linking verb to be am are is was were be being been a helping and a linking verb to be am are is was were be being been and that is all of them to the tune of bringing home a baby bumblebee. Okay, for history, we have tell me about the exploration of Canada. So we are actually going to do history and geography uh, next to each other this week because they kind of go hand in hand. We are learning about Canadian waters and history is talking about the Hudson Bay Company and involving some of the Canadian waters. So we're going to do those together. And so once we've gone through geography, we'll keep the map out that we use of our CC laminated maps. And um, for history, we're going to point to some of these areas uh, just to keep it stick in the sand and very simple. So I will talk about John Cabot and Samuel de Champlain. And then what we'll do is when we talk about Hudson Bay Company, we're gonna to point to that area where the Hudson Bay is. Then we're going to point to where the St. Lawrence River is as we sing that part of the song. Um, another option, if you don't wanna be so stick in the sand, is there are some visual aids that are on CC Connected. I will link two really great ones down below in the description of this video that you could print out if you wanted to. And what you could do is just go through those visual aid pictures as you're singing the tune. So that's another option if you want to uh, mix it up a little bit and show pictures. Of course, you could always do hand motions. And so as usual, I'll give you some hand motions as well. So J and C for John Cabot, and then Samuel de Champlain just will do an S and another C. And then they explored Canada, the same sign for Canada that we've done in timeline in the past. So this is just shaking your collar. So explored Canada and the St. Lawrence River. So you can do an L and move it like this, like it's going down a river, okay? Uh, the creation of the Hudson's, do an H, the Hudson's Bay Company in 1670. You can sign this, but the song is pretty fast. so you can kind of fill out what you feel comfortable with as you're singing it. 16, you can go like that, and then this is a seven. Um, so 16, you would shake that, and then this is the number seven it's for 1670. You could do that. Uh, eventually led to war between Britain and France. France. So you would do the sign for war, and then the same sign for Britain and France, which is an F turn like that for France. And then the last part of that is the maple leaf is the symbol of Canada. So we would use our hands to make a maple leaf. The maple leaf uh, is the symbol of, again, Canada. So those are some hand motions that you could use. You can take some of those away if it's too fast and just use very specific ones. 
or you can do any of those other two previous ideas. Sorry if that's too much, but those are some things that are just floating around. We are, like I said, going to stick with the map and um, after we do that, we're gonna combine that with geography because they're together. So we'll talk about through the song as we point through different locations on the map, or I point through at the head of the class different locations on the map. Okay, for Canadian waters geography, since we're already there, let's talk about that too. We are learning about the Great Bear Lake, the Great Slave Lake, the Hudson Bay. We're learning about the Labrador Sea and the Baffin bay and so what we're going to do is we're going to be putting letters into each of those sections with dry erase marker on the map as i introduce them so for great bear lake we're going to draw a b over the great bear lake as we point to it and we're going to make a sound like a bear Rawr. Uh, then for the slave lake we're going to make an l uh, an s there sorry an s and we're going to make a sound like we're kind of uh crying <laughs> okay um that was my daughter's idea because that's what she thinks of for slave, for slave lake. For the Hudson Bay, we are going to put an H on there for Hudson Bay, and we're also talking about that in our GR, in our uh, history song, so they'll know where that is. And then for Labrador Sea, we're going to put an L on the Labrador Sea and bark like a dog. And then last but not least, we have the Baffin Bay. And for the Baffin Bay, it kind of sounds like a bath. We take a bath in the Baffin Bay. Um, so for that, we're going to make the sound of running water and just go shh like we're taking a bath in the Baffin Bay. Um, so those are some ideas of what we're going to do for geography this week. Just drawing the letters and making sounds as we um, cover each of those locations. The next thing we have on here is Latin. And for Latin, we are covering our fourth declension noun endings. And for that, we are going to take out our choir. Uh, I have these little finger puppets uh, like we did for this last session previously this year for the fourth declension noun endings. If you don't have finger puppets, it's, it's no big deal. You can always just draw little faces on the fingertips of your fingers, and those can be your puppets as well. But we take the finger puppets, and then we do like we are a singing choir, and um, as we sing the tune that CC provides. And it sounds and looks like this. Sorry, I'm like trying to put these finger puppets on. So uh, first we have one four person choir because it's the fourth declension noun endings. So we have one four person choir and they sing the singular of the fourth declension noun endings. So it's us, us, ui, am, u, us, us, ui, am, u, us, us, ui, am, u, singular fourth declensions. Okay, so we have that. Then we would add four more for the plural and you would have two four person or four finger choirs uh, doing the plural, because you have now more than one choir, of the fourth declension noun endings. And those are us um ibis, us ibis, us um ibis, us ibis. And that is how we would cover Latin, same as we did previously this year. For timeline, we have World War, the same like we did last week, World War, two W's, World War Two, and President, Franklin D. Roosevelt. For Franklin D. Roosevelt, we're going to do the common abbreviation that's used for him, FDR, and you just do F, D, and R. And then the next one is Stalin of the USSR and the Katyn Massacre. For that, we're going to make the shape of a big beard to represent Stalin of the USSR and the Katyn Massacre. We're going to do the sign for kill and many because that a massacre is a killing of many people. So you do that and then this for to show many people. And then we have the United Nations formed. And for that, we're going to do the sign for United. So just bring your fingers together just like that, the United Nations formed, and then we have the cold, we're gonna shiver like it's cold, the Cold War. The next one is Gandhi, we're gonna make a G, just like this, G, Gandhi, and India's independence, and for independence, we make our hands like this, and we bring them out like we've been saved or freed. So, independence, okay? Then we have the Jewish state established. For that, the sign for Jewish is to grab your chin like this, like you have are pulling on a man's beard. So, Jewish 
state, you take an S and go down from the top to the bottom, just like uh, Babylon, but instead you're doing an S. So Jewish state established. And then we have Mao and the communist victory in China. And for that, we're gonna do an M for Mao. And then the sign for communist is to hold your hand up like this. And China is the same sign that we've done for China in the past. That is all of timeline for this week. For science, we are learning the five circles of latitude. And so it helps if you have any type of globe that you can bring in, whether it's a standing globe from home or uh, this one I got at the dollar store. They have these that you can blow up or even those little mini squishy balls at the dollar store too. They all show these particular lines of latitude that we're gonna be talking about today. And so we'll bring this in and kind of show what we're talking about when, we, when I introduce it. So we're gonna start with the Arctic Circle, then we have the Tropic of Cancer, then below that we have the Equator, then we have the Tropic of Capricorn, and then down below we have the Antarctic Circle and we'll probably take turns pointing to each of these lines of latitude and we will do that to the tune as we sing the tune of he's got the whole world so it sounds like this five circles of latitude or arctic circle tropic of cancer equator tropic of capricorn antarctic circle Five circles of latitude, Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, Tropic of a Capricorn, Antarctic Circle. And that is science for week 21. For review today, we're actually going to end up playing Jenga, hopefully this week. We didn't get to play it last week. We ended up playing a different game, so we'll probably do that this week. If you would like a different game or some more options of reviews that might be helpful, I do have another video that's all about CC review games, so you can feel free to check that out and uh, see if any other games are better for you and your group this week. Uh, but other than that, I hope that this is somewhat helpful, and I look forward to seeing you all next week for week 22. Bye.